What is good, thinkuses of all ages? It's Deathhawk here, and welcome to a Call of Duty Ghost video. And today we're going to be talking about stuff that Call of Duty Ghost absolutely needs to add into the game to keep the maps feeling like a next gen title instead of just a regular Call of Duty point and shoot shooter that we're used to. Alright, right away we got breaching locations, which need to be in more maps. So far there's, I think, a total of four breaching locations and three of them are on one map. Like, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's all I'm aware of. There might be more. But yeah, one's on Warhawk where you could breach into a building. And then three of them are on the map Octane. Uh, there's probably more. I think there's actually four on Octane. You could breach that canister in the middle both sides and you get a free care package support streak and then up top the pawn shop you could uh breach two uh walls that gives you a new line of sight yeah that needs to be in more maps it can, like it'll make the game feel much more interactive -able, i guess and less of just a standard map that we're used to from previous games also they need to add more of the interactive button uh, i'm pretty sure on one of the maps you could press square and a train will move i'm pretty sure it's the only place where uh you press square and something happens i'm not so sure if anything else happens battlefield they have a lot of those spots where you could detonate a bomb or something something like that would be really cool to have in call of duty You'd be able to, uh, we had it in Black Ops 1, where we'd be able to, uh, call the elevator, and open and close a door, stuff like that would be cool. It would, uh, give you something to, like, go for in a game, to, like, open and close, and it would, uh, really make this game feel a lot better than it is right now. Alright, moving on, we have a DLC idea based on the live-action uh, Call of Duty Ghost trailer. If you guys didn't know, the uh, Call of Duty Ghost had a live action trailer the day before launch, or maybe the day of launch, I don't know. But it was like four guys, and they were just telling us uh, they were playing Ghost, but like they were in the game. So, they, one of the places they went to was a casino, and that would be really cool to see in a Call of Duty uh, multiplayer map we haven't actually had a casino as a map we uh, the only time we ever came close was on hotel we had a mini casino but a whole map as a casino would be uh an amazing idea for call of duty ghost you could have tons of interactive abilities in that map like you call the elevator press square to flip all the tables something and it could be called like high stakes and it'd be on top of a uh skyscraper and that would be pretty cool it'd be a solid dlc and that would uh, stuff like that needs to be put into Call of Duty to keep it, like I said, feeling like a next gen title. Like they, the new engine, yeah, I guess it kind of makes it feel kind of new, but they need more stuff that's like game changing that has not been ever seen before in a Call of Duty game. This leaning stuff, yeah, it's new. Whatever you could lean, big whoop. And then the, the destructible stuff, like the gas station thing. Yeah, it's like it always falls down every game. It's not like Battlefield where you could just break whatever the hell you want. So uh, that's everything for me today, guys. Don't forget to deep fry that like button, that subscribe button. I'll come back to you guys later today with another video if I can. And don't forget uh, to leave your opinions down in the comments below. I love reading your comments. And I'm a, uh, I'm Death Hog, and I'm out. Peace.